a dynamic sporting initiative. Bring more ethnic minorities. Onto playing fields. Regardless of ability, we strive for excellence. And draw strength from our differences. Let's be recognised in sports. Let's empower one another. And unlock and untapped potential. Let's show the world what we're made of. Together, let's create a legacy of global opportunity. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Sea Games. ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿ 2% ਦੀ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੇਕਿਨ 65% ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਓਲੰਪਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਤੋਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਸੁਣਦਿਆਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰੋਂਗਟੇ ਨੇ ਖੜੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਮਾਨ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਖੇਡਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਰਗਾਂ 'ਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਹੈਰੀਟੇਜ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਰਟ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਜ਼ਮਾਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆਈਏ ਤਾਂ ਕਬੱਡੀ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਲਈਏ ਜਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਲਈਏ ਹਾਕੀ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ 80% ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਮੈਡਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਂਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਮਿਲਖਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਕੌਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਐਥਲੈਟਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ 'ਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਰੋਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਜਾਈਏ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਪੈਰਲ ਚੱਲਦੀਆਂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਲਾਈਨ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਤੁਰਦੇ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਮੈਡਲਸ ਦੀ ਬਚਾਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਾਂ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਇੱਕ ਨਵੀਂ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਿਆਣਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਨਵਾਂ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਦੇ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੋਰ ਇਨਕਰੇਜ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਖੇਡਣ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਰੈਕਗਨੀਸ਼ਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਬਣੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕਿਹੋ ਜਿਹਾ ਫੀਲ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਆ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਆਏ ਆ ਆਸਟ੍ਰੇਲੀਆ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਆਏ ਆ ਨਿਊਜ਼ੀਲੈਂਡ ਦਾ ਨਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਆਏ ਆ ਕੈਲੀਫੋਰਨੀਆ ਦੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਹੁਣ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਸੀ ਗੇਮਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਪਕਮਿੰਗ ਸੀ ਗੇਮਸ ਇਨ ਯੂਕੇ ਤੇ ਆਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੁਲਾਨੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਮਨਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਤੇ ਨਵਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸੀ ਗੇਮ ਇਨ ਯੂਕੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਭੈਣ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਭਾਜੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾਨ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਇਹ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਖੇਡਾਂ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਹਰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਛੇੜ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੀਬੀ ਜੀ ਐ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਜ਼ਮਾਨੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਸਟੋਰੀਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਜ਼ਮਾਨੇ 'ਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਖੇਡ ਖੇਡਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਜਿੱਤਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਈਵਨ ਅਪਕਮਿੰਗ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਟੀਵੀ ਤੋਂ ਹਟਨ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਯੂ نو ਹੈਵ ਫੋਨਸ ਹੈਵ ਟੇਕਨ ਓਵਰ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਆਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਇਨ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਦਮ ਇਨ ਟੈਨਿਸ ਸਵਿਮਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੀ
you know, you, this is your baby and you're putting it out for the world. You're talking about it on a media channel. How do you feel today? Absolutely. I, th I think Sikhs and sports, as you said, they run parallel and they've always been up there. Hmm. I think it's about hmm. time. Our Sikhs represent not just Great Britain, but every country they live in. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have been watching the Australian Sea Games and the New Zealand Sea Games for a very long time now. But when did you realize it's about time that, you know, UK hosts its own uh, version? And, and when did you realize that I'm not going to wait for somebody else to do it? It's actually me who's going to take the plunge and go out there and launch <laughs> it's it. It's going to do it, yeah. Um, so actually, the Sea Games um, have been around for my whole life. Hmm. Uh, my family moved in um, to Australia in the 70s. Yeah. And um, when the Australian Sea Games obviously started 34 years ago, yeah. um, literally a year before I was actually born, um, and my literally whenever we talk to our family on the phone, whenever we kind of like go and see them or they come over, hmm. the, the Sea Games dialogue was always there. Hmm. You know, how it managed to bring the whole community together, how even if you don't go for like a wedding or like another event, but when the Sikh Games were happening hmm. in Australia, they would rotate them around their six major cities. Yeah. And they would actually all fly over to wherever they are, take a week out yeah. and actually be a part of that celebration. And they would all contribute in some way or form to the Sikh Games. So it, it was kind of one of those things that we were, I always felt like there was a part of me that felt kind of like jealous that we never had anything like that in the UK. Mm. And, and you kind of like wish that there was something like that happening here. Absolutely. Um, but I think for the last like couple of years, I think it's really been like, you know, like you need to do something. We need to kind of get it started off. Mm. But I think it wasn't until like last year, like COVID time, I think it was uh, in April last year that I spoke to Navjot for the first time about the seat games. And I said, Navjot, you know, how do you feel? Yeah about the sea games um, yeah. and and uh, and it's I knew, actually yeah, interesting it jodi kidda ban gayi you know um, i'm sure you had support from um, your family your friends whoever Absolutely, you discussed yeah. the idea with yeah. and uh, but how did you get on board then um, it was just a random phone call one day from mandeep i think it was on the 25th of april yeah, last year it was a saturday last year um, <laughs> and it was her idea about the sea games um, she said, look, this is what I'm proposing. Yeah. Um, and I absolutely love the idea where and I also shared uh, something called the Maccabi Games, uh, which has been running for about 70 odd years um, about the Jewish community. That's interesting, Maccabi Games. I would like you to talk more about it because I'm sure not a lot of people watching this show uh, would know uh, the, you know, the level at which Maccabi Games are held each year and there's absolutely a lesson that we also need to learn uh, from Maccabi Games. Paji, Penji, you know, I'd like you to talk more about uh, the Maccabi Games, please. So, so Maccabi Games um, originated in 1934. Yeah. Uh, every four years, Jewish community around the world, even India, India sends a cricket team out there. Mm -hmm. Every four years, they participate in all the sports um, in Israel. Um, team GB, they, they send their athletes and it's it's the third largest sporting event in the world. They have 10,000 athletes every four years participating, and that's, that's the model uh, that we looked at, um, and this is where we want to go. Um, we'll, we'll talk about um, their model later mm. in the show. So, so they have their own little Olympics going on. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 How so amazing Jewish, that is. It's amazing you know, to see some an opportunity hmm. whereby the whole like Jewish community around the world gets together. Yeah. And I think this is the thing. I think, you know, we've been very lucky actually. We've managed to kind of connect with the Maccabi Games yeah. and their former CEO of Maccabi um, GB is oh, actually really? on our advisory board. Um, even the Australian Seat Games, we've managed to get them on our advisory board. So it's actually been a really kind of a humble effort to speak to and learn from these communities and learn from the people that have been doing it before yeah. to say, this is something that we want to do hmm. for our community. How do we go about it? Um, what kind of advice can you give? So it's been amazing. I mean, we, we've kind of got something really exciting coming up as well because we've it's not just, you know, we're, we're not only working on, obviously, the UK seat games. Yeah. There's four seat games that have been happening around the world. So Australia started 34 years ago. Then it was New Jersey that started in 2016. Then it was New Zealand who started in 2019. And then it was India who mm. actually had their first seat games in January 2020. Mm. Now, um, the idea is, you know, if we're going to create something like the Maccabi Games for the seat community, 
we want to try and encourage more countries. So actually what we're doing is we've got 17 people on our board. Right. You know, we've got branding execs, marketing experts, um, you know, um, uh, like policy makers, yeah. lawyers, yeah. accountants, you know, you name it. This I'm not sure how, but we've managed to get all these amazing So you've got together. an international plan already in your we head. We have, yeah? we have. So yeah. what we're trying to do is we're trying to help other countries hmm. as well. So um, in the last year and year and a half, we've been speaking to Canada, we've yeah. been speaking to South Africa, Malaysia and Singapore. That's exciting. And Hong Kong. And in April 2030, we want to host uh, the world's first ever international Sikh Games. Hold on, Benji. This uh, announcement. No, we don't know in London. <laughs> So, we'll have to bid for it. We'll to bid for it. that UK Sea Games, first of all, both man di gal hai gaya, yeah. and jidda me pella kya ke uh, as a precedent, uh, me ek. Uh, core no introduce kar diya. so you know i'm feeling really proud panji ke finally it's time ke see you know realize kariye yeah. uh, ke jade sadi tiya ne sadi pehna ne you know we should take the plunge and we should take initiative but um panji ne jade plan banaya kali uk di nahi hai ki um in future uh, the ukc games uh, is trying to uh, achieve an international uh, level event and is karke jinni sari countries hai gaya ne jithe sada dais ਪੂਰਾ ਵਾਸਤਾ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਸੇਖ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਪਛਾਣ ਬਣਾਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਡੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਹੌਲੀ ਹੌਲੀ ਜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਗੇਮਸ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੀਏ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਡਾ ਇਵੈਂਟ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਪੰਜੀ ਲੋਜਿਸਟਿਕਲੀ ਕੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਆ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਹੋ ਸਕਿਆ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਨ ਇਅਰਸ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਵਾਸ ਇਨਫ ਬਟ ਫੋਰ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਸਾਊਥ ਅਫਰੀਕਾ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਅਪਰਹੈਂਸ਼ਨਸ ਥੈਟ ਉੱਥੇ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਇੰਨਾ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਨੀ ਛੇਤੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਈਵਨ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸਨਟ ਆਈ ਵੁਡਨਟ ਸੇ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਸਪੈਂਟ ਅ ਈਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਅ ਹਾਫ ਯਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਫਟਰ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਵਰਕ ਐਟ ਲਾਈਕ 8 ਪੀਐਮ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦ ਸੀਟ ਗੇਮਸ ਟਿਲ 3 ਏਐਮ so it's not that easy <laughs> firstly but i think the thing is look we've got we, this is why we've kind of gone with a realistic time frame um, we've gone with an amount of time which we think would allow the countries nationally to be comfortable to hmm. set up and bring themselves together and yeah. um, so it's not actually even though we say you know like it's the uk that this is our ambition hmm. we actually what we want to try and do is and again touching on the equality element we want to get a male and female representative from each country hmm. actually sitting on an international panel hmm. that decides how the international games are run hmm. so it wouldn't be just us guys kind of saying you know this is what the plan is and this is how we're going to do it actually it would be a case of the worldwide community actually gets together they have yeah. a dialogue and together that we work out what sports we're doing how we're doing it and it would be very much like the olympics so we, what we want to try and do is we want to try and get every country to actually bid for the seat games right to be held in their national country um and then what we would do is we would rotate it every 4 years around the different countries so it's a case of as seeks we would get to go with the seat games around the world every 4 years to different countries so it's um very much again taking part of the olympic model taking part of the maccabi model hmm. and then kind of also then focusing on the equality element not having complete ownership of it actually working with everyone and making everyone feel included well quite an interesting uh, space over here sare nu mai beinti karungi you know just watch out for the sea games website their social media pages because as penji is explaining i uh, think in coming months sanu both interesting jehdi ane news milan wali hai and uh, you know a lot of interesting things that penji is saying and i'm so glad that uh, you know finally um a see inspire ho rahe hain to yeah. go big you know not just yeah. be satisfied with uh, uh, you know national level things i mean well and good that uh, we're doing things here we're doing things individually in australia and as you mentioned in new jersey but we're finally going a step ahead we're walking that extra mile yeah. and paji jadon mai pehla dassya sega that um, even now pehla de zamane ch obviously our siyane been playing different sports but now parents you know more than ever want their children 
children to play, uh, you know, sports and because of influence of so many different things, you know, um, children are becoming academic, very well done to them, you know, going in, uh, you know, Penji, you're a solicitor, you can have time, but you have to go back and study and job. But then parents do want to push their children, you know, to play some sport and go ahead and make a career perhaps. So from this perspective, to see how important, um, you know, the, the, this event is going to be for, you know, young parents who actually wanted an opportunity to send their kids out and inspire them. Um, Paji, like you said earlier on the show, um, Indian hockey team yeah. is the most decorated hockey team in history. They've got 13 medals. Um, so now they've just won another bronze medal. But, but the thing is, it's really easy to support them after they've won something. Hmm. Uh, but what we need to do, and what we're trying to do here, is support the kids um, from a really young age yeah. and then develop them into really good professional sports men or women. Hmm. Um, and that's our model. Um, we do really want parents to push their kids. Hmm. Uh, it's not about studies. I think studies and sports can go parallel hmm. to each other. Um, and that's where we are lacking. Um, winning 13 medals and we, we don't have a Sikh representation in Team GB hockey hmm. is, is not a good thing. Uh, it's not just Sikh. We, we haven't even got a South Asian represent, representation and not just in hockey, in other sports as well. I didn't see an Asian face, to be honest, yeah. in Team GB. And, and this is where we want to create a difference and hmm. we, we want to get people, our kids involved um, from, from a very young age and support them all the way through. Then let's talk about participation then, Paji. You know, everybody watching at home. Uh, who can participate, where to register, how exciting it is to, uh, you know, the, be met with an opportunity which is far, further away going to be international and uh, it, it sounds exciting. So how soon should one be registering for it and um, which cities you're going to go and get players from? If you can talk more about uh, participation then. So uh, we, we launched on the 2nd of August, yeah. um, so our registrations are open. Uh, if, uh, if people can visit uh, the seagames.com, you should be able to register as, as an athlete, as a coach, as a volunteer. Um, and the, the, the model that we will be using is regional model. Uh, I know there are a lot of Sikh sports clubs around the country. You've got hockey, uh, Sikh hockey clubs, Sikh cricket clubs. Uh, but we will be making a regional model. Hmm. So if you live in uh, Birmingham, you'll be representing Birmingham. If you're living in South London, you'll be representing South London. Um, so we, we are creating um, a, a regional model and kids uh, will be representing the place where, where, where they live. Hmm. Um, and at, at terms of age, everyone who is 12 plus uh, from July 2022 July 2023, 2023 yeah. will be able to take part in the Sea Games. Hmm, 2023, you say? Yeah. So we'll talk you through. <laughs> we'll talk you through the timeline as well. Do you know viewers <laughs> excited? Hun, hun, yeah, yeah, yeah. That next month we just want to start the work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarenu, I want to tell you that uh, the Sea Games, which we are doing at the big level, we are going to take a little time. Uh, and it's going to be in 2023. Yeah. Plenty of time for your child, for your friends, your family, whoever you're thinking uh, to suggest the names of. But Saira uh, Kohl, enough time hai gaya to prepare and uh, participate in the upcoming SEA Games in 2023. So what's the story there, Penji? Because yeah. uh, now that you've announced it, now that you're out, you know, in the public eye on social media, on SEA channel now, people are excited. Yeah. People want to know more about it. So uh, why do we wait? till 2023 so actually um there's a couple of reasons so what we're trying to do is we're really trying to encourage as many as much of the community as possible to actually be a part of the seat games and um, so with this regional model that we just kind of um briefly touched on the idea is we want more teams to be formed so mm. in the uk you've got two seat cricket clubs at the mm. moment mm -hmm. over the next 10 years we want that to grow drastically. We want to encourage the growth of 75 Sikh cricket clubs, 75 Sikh football clubs. So what we're trying to do is in each region, um, it, we've actually worked with the previous last census um, when we've divided it. So let's say you've got Birmingham, we've actually 
divided Birmingham into three sections. So we want to try and make it as fair as possible for the areas where you've got fewer Sikhs as well. Um, so we've got North Birmingham, mm. Birmingham Black Country, and you've got South Birmingham. And then again in London, you've got Southall as a separate team, Hounslow as a separate team. Um, you've got Central London, North London together, and then obviously East London and Essex. The idea is, within and i'm going to talk about it even though i live in surrey now but i'm going to talk about southall because that's where i've grown up um so in southall what the idea is you will have and we want to work alongside gurukars so you'll have one um, gurukar that will take the responsibility of let's say the women's hockey team mm. one will take care of the men's hockey team one with well will take care of the kids cricket team one will take care of uh, the women's powerlifting one will take care of the men's football team so each one Actually, what we want them to do is we want to empower gurukars and, um, you know, like university Sikh societies to set up and take the responsibility for each region together and to work together. Um, so the idea is we're also trying to do our little bit in trying to not put too much responsibility on any one gurukar to bring out their region and be the representative. But most importantly, we want everyone to feel like they're a part of the Sikh Games. Mm. Um, the other kind of thing that we touch on when we talk about this kind of like regional model that we're working on um, we don't want to have teams where their names are going to be you know for example like Ram Gariya or Ravi Das or Singh Sabha or anything like that the only thing that your team will be recognized as is Sikh Touching so about the quality yeah because a quality is um, definitely very important but also collaboration it goes into because we've ended up as a as a as a month we've always been one that started with the very essence of having equality mm. but then we've ended up going into this whole caste system Absolutely. and we've man ended up doing something whereby actually um, communities are very much pigeonholed into you know their whatever their caste was you know whatever they were doing back in India and mm. um, so we want to try and do our bit to try and actually bring the community together so that's very important for us so it's dual purpose we obviously want to get maximum participation by working this way and yeah. uh, we want every area to feel like so for example like your Birmingham you um, like let's say North Birmingham yeah. you would want you to feel like you want to contribute to one of the North Birmingham teams mm. It's not necessary for you to have been an athlete or competed before, mm. but the reason you participate is because you care about your health, but you also care because what you're doing is, when the younger girls in our generation, when they watch football on TV and they see all men playing, they don't know that football is an option for them. But when you feel like you play at the seat games, you are that role model that that girl needs to see. I actually was thinking about this, Benji, you know, when personally when I was, uh, you know, a little child, I used to watch Serena Williams, Maria yeah. Sharapova play top class tennis, you see. But I didn't have any role model, any, yeah. any core playing to go to my parents and show that I want to become like her, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, how to convince times were different back then. Yeah. Do you think this is going to pave the path for more girls to come forward and absolutely. you know play sports, more yeah. little girls to have more role models? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So actually, um, one of the things that we're really focusing on in the, through the seat games is actually having ambassadors. Yeah. So people within the seat community that we want to shine a spotlight on yeah. that have done well in sport. So you've got Sandeep Tak, who's a footballer. You've yeah. got Karen Jit Baines, who's a powerlifter. Hardy and Cool Boxing. You know, like she, we've got all these people within the seat community that have done really well in sport. Yeah. But what we want to do through the seat games is shine that light on them, create documentaries on them. So actually you understand their journey. Mm. You give these girls real life role models. But mm. the thing is with the seat games, when we talk about the seat games, it's not just to have success on a playing field. When we talk about seat games, our long term vision for the Pant is Harmeda and Fateh. Mm. So even if you take sport, and you become a lawyer, you take sport, but you become a politician. That sport is going to give you so much more mm. than just physical fitness. You know, it's going to give you confidence. It's going to give you team building. It's going to give you leadership skills that you can take into any industry and you can have for that. And of course, we're going to have um, success on the playing field. But also, like when I look at my niece, you know, she's six years old. Yeah. I don't want to go home to her and say to her, you should become a lawyer and that's the most successful thing for you to become. Yeah. I want her to have as many options as possible. She can become a politician if she wants to become one. Mm. She can become a footballer. She can become a powerlifter. 
she can be anything her heart desires. The world is her oyster. Yeah. That is the kind of way we want to empower our community to be able to actually see and for the Seat Games to actually celebrate the talent and the people that have done well. Yeah, and I really hope that, uh, especially the parents watching the show, you know, um, it's high time now, okay, you know, on the scoreboard, you see, you know, earning points, now, jitliane games, because um, that will create path for other young girls to actually believe in themselves that I can play uh, hockey as well. I yeah. can play football as well because if she can do it, she looks like me. She's yeah. got a long good, she's got a cord in her name. She's yeah. actually like me. And if she can do it, I can do it. And that's a brilliant concept, Benji. And Kar Bethe, Jinni Bhi, parents, especially Binti, that a Sardi Apnia games, opportunity and um, to see you know you never know ki kidda oh shine karan te unna di jehdi career aage ban jaye so sare nu beinti hai ki je saadi community apne aap saade bachiyan waste inne bharosa tade vich rakh ke ek eho ja event leke aa rahi hai ta tusi apne nyanyan nu piche bilkul na rehn do har ghar to bacche jehde aa zarur participate karne chahide ne jidda bhai ji ne kaha it's not about just winning it's not about just success jehdi confidence unna de vich build hoegi is games de vich participate karke oh confidence unna nu agge kuch vi oh life ch karan gaye ode vich unna nu help karogi te um Paji, um, see games, you know, in addition to arranging this event, uh, we understand also about Seek um, Sports Library. Uh, if you'd like to talk more about the concept of this library, um, you know, com taking stories of all the players and putting it out for others to read and take inspiration from. So what is this idea about, really? So, um, like, like Mandeep mentioned, we, we're trying to uh, well, spotlight on all the Seeks that have actually done really good in sports hmm. um, and then to be really honest with you more than 80 percent of us don't even know the names of people who have done so well hmm. in the last 50 years like uh, we had Balbir Singh senior who passed away four years ago he's hmm. won three Olympic gold medals in hockey hmm. um, and all he got was a Padma Shri from Indian government nothing else hmm. um, so we need to um, show a spotlight from all the Sikhs from 1900s all the way till now yeah. um, and this is what we are really looking forward to, um, to recognize all the Sikh players that have done really well. Yeah. Um, and then, like you mentioned, that y you never had a role model growing up. We've got Harman Preet Kaur mm -hmm. in India, who's the captain of our Indian cricket team now. Yeah. Um, and she will be our ambassador very soon as well. So yes, we'll, we hope. So She's we'll, watching. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be having a chat with her very soon. Um, so and 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 people like we've got ambassadors like uh, Raj Handel, mm. yeah. who was the first Sikh uh, pool champion in 2005, and not a lot of people know about that. Mm. Um, and and then we've got so many. We've we've got and another another thing we want to really highlight is um, disability sports, mm. um, especially in our community as well. Um, and we we've got two really good ambassadors in uh, Mandeep Semi, who is a triple um, Team GB rugby wheelchair player. Uh, and then we got Meva Singh, who's um, a para badmin badminton player. Mm. And he's won numerous medals and trophies in, in the last 30 odd years. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got Monty Panisa, Amaverdi, Ravi Papara in cricket. And then we've got Manga, Manga Singh, Manga Mithapuriya from uh, Kabaddi. Former um, captain of the England Former Kabaddi captain of the England yeah. Kabaddi team. And, um, he's won Man of the Tournament 75 times across the world, uh, which is a massive achievement. And three of his uh, villages have actually, they were in the, in the Indian hockey team yeah. from Mithapur, yeah. um, who have won the bronze medal. Mm. Um, so we do want to shine a spotlight on yeah. all our ambassadors. Yeah. And when we talk about disability, actually, like just very much like Nav touched on, as a community, the only dialogue that we have when it comes to disability is whether or not a wheelchair is allowed in a guru card or not. Mm. We never actually go beyond that to say, well, who's the person inside the wheelchair? What are we actually doing to empower them physically, mentally? What are we doing to make them feel included in the wider Sangat? And what is our contribution towards them?
hmm. you know, because we talk about all these other initiatives that we do as a community, but they're our own brothers and sisters, you know, and they've got amazing stories of resilience in the face of adversity, which hmm. need to be shared worldwide, hmm. you know, because they are achieving. You talk to like Miva, um, Uncle G, you know, he will talk about how he had his life with both legs and mm. he, how, how he had a second life with one leg and actually he compares the both and we're so excited to share those documentaries with the community. We will talk to you, continue about this um, in the next couple of minutes, Benji. Let's watch a clip from the SEA Games, uh, how exciting it is and I'm going to see you all the time. Come on, let's see an exciting clip from the SEA Games. I'm going to talk to you Benji. A dynamic sporting initiative. Bring more ethnic minorities. Onto playing fields. Regardless of ability, we strive for excellence. And draw strength from our differences. In sports, let's empower one another. And unlock and untapped potential. Let's show the world what we're made of. Together, let's create a legacy of global opportunity. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Sea Games. Games.com sign up now. Registrations open. Ho chuke ne saath sangeji apne bachyanda and thode pravanda panda. You know everybody should go and sign up because it's not really about being an expert in a sport, isn't it, Penju? Yeah, we need to get everyone to become experts. We want to empower everybody to become experts. Yeah. But Benji, very much like you were actually mentioning yeah. um, previously, the journey, why are we starting it now? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even end up answering that. So um, what's going to happen now is um, we're going to get everyone to sign up. Yeah. And actually what we're going to do is in each area, we're going to help the Gurukars and we've got a regional lead in each area. Right. And they will actually help set up the teams with them. Hmm. So if let's say they've got, um, they want to, they end up, you know, get, getting around a table and discussing, you know, who wants to do which sport, how do they actually go about it? How do they get the coaches trained up and what the next steps, where are they going to host their weekly training and getting all of that ready. Yeah. And then in January, our app goes live, which I think I'll get Nav to talk to you a little bit about in terms yeah. of uh, from the excellence element. Yeah. Um, but then next year, we've actually hired St. George's Park, home of England football, mm -hmm. for a two day camp. Okay. which is going to take place, which is an opportunity. So even though they've got like an 18 month program that they would have started next Janu this coming January, yeah. um, what will happen is they will go to the camp and they'll get to learn obviously a lot more um, from our sports coaches, get to meet the athletes for two days. And then the following year, they've got time to actually then compete. But it's important for everybody to sign up because the more signups that we get now, the more information each regional lead has to be able to set up the clubs and to get like a full picture of what the what what's going on within each area hmm. what the community's interest levels are like so please do sign up interesting interesting all that and uh, how um how well that sits with the Sea Channel motto of bringing millions of Sikhs together. Uh, it's like family from all over UK coming together and yeah. uh, you know having fun. Uh, it's a great opportunity for all of us, um, you know, to get together like a family, all the community, and yeah. uh, really participate in something which is fun, uh, which is you know an active um, lifestyle, and uh, you know inspire each other share stories and uh, what an exciting times ahead of us in 2023 Penji thank you for bringing us uh, such a unique event and uh, you were talking about equality yeah. and I think um, you know we should really talk about uh, opportunities for uh, specially able people yeah. uh, more in depth because this is something um, you know that
that always receives just a little bit of time. But yes. uh, so many households have so many little children who have never actually gone out in the playground of their school yes. and they feel left out. But uh, we want the SEA Games uh, to be not just about, uh, you know, actually playing and going out and, um, you know, proving yourself, winning games, winning medals, but also um, for all the children, irrespective of, uh, you know, whether they like this sport or that sport, whether then, uh, they're in a wheelchair or they can actually, you know, win medals. We want all the children to actually come out and participate, to feel, to be, to be able to feel that they're part of the community, no matter what. So, Paji, I would like you to, you know, talk more about the equality aspect uh, in terms of um, involving everybody irrespective of their age or gender or you know as caste as you were talking about no matter which gurdwara you come from and um, you know especially able people especially love them. Yeah, Panji like you said um, have you, having fun at these games is one thing yeah we, we really want to focus um, on us, us as Sikhs to increase participation in mainstream um, sports um, Either, either uh, dis disabled players or, 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 or um, so. So what we're trying to do is, um, like Olympics was on, everyone was watching it. Um, a month later, we'll have Paralympics started, and everyone will switch their TVs off. Yeah. No one wants to watch that. Hmm. But what, what we, they work as hard as Olympians, hmm. if, if not more. Yeah. Um, and we really want to focus on that. We really want people to come out. Um, and play in these games mm. um, and we really want people um, to participate as much as they can mm. and we want to take our kids to another level uh, in, in the next four to eight years time we actually want to see kids um, representing Team GB and representing well, all other countries around the world um, and, and especially um, we, we've got two ambassadors in Mandeep Semi and Meva Uncle mm. um, we want disabled child with kids to look at them um, and see if they can do it all the kids can do it as well yeah. um, so because disability isn't actually always visible yeah. there is in like disability which we don't even know about yeah. but what we you know there, there's loads of ways when we look at dis disability and how we want to try and focus on that element as well within the seat games so even for the s first seat games we don't we know there's not going to be enough people to compete mm. but what we're trying to do is so if we've got six competition sports yeah. which are actually in the competition we're going to have six disability sports which are going to be happening but what we wanted to do is where we were quite actually like we were looking at venues for the seat games as well now we've obviously got our venue for the seat games which is the university of birmingham um, but we were actually looking at a place where when we have that disability element we don't want it to be at the end of the seat games or a week later we want it to be in the middle in the heart where it's visible it's, or it's the first thing you see or it's geographically placed in such a way that everybody can see the the sport happening mm. so like over the three days let's just say we'll have two different things that they can trial out and sign up to so what we're trying to do is we're trying to we've got a disability rights advocate Shani Danda who also sits on our advisory board is helping us obviously connect with the British Paralympics Association Association and all these other sporting um, kind of um, organizations whereby they can bring them to the SEA Games and people have an opportunity to actually experience those sports. Hmm. But also for us as a community to see the hard work that goes into it. For us to actually trial what it feels like to sit in a wheelchair and play that's a sport, you know. Hmm. So that's, from a quality point of view, that's something that we're really passionate about. And hmm. actually it's about time we did start having that kind of priority in our minds about how we're going to grow and create that kind of platform. Mm. Um, but also when it comes to equality, we also talk about our female representation. Yeah. We've got uh, females on our board, we've got females on our advisory board, like I mentioned, Shani, yeah. um, you know, um, we've got um, Sangi from the England Wales Cricket Board, yeah. um, you know, we've got females as ambassadors. Yourself, uh, mm -hmm. or, Yeah, of course, yeah, and then we've got uh, female regional leads, so the largest um, Sikh populated area is actually Wolverhampton mm. and it's so lovely to see our first regional lead that was a female was actually from Wolverhampton so that's something huge like I remember when I've had this conversation with Gurbeen and you know we've man you know we've she's 
equally as excited and so proactive and how she's been going around to all the Gurukars in Wolverhampton already. But I was so excited to tell Navjot and the team to say, we've actually got a female regional lead. Like, you know, it, it's something for us to celebrate, you know. But even when it comes to the international panel, it's about time we actually started prioritizing because we need to have the whole population make a decision. You know, we can't just have 50% of the population make a decision mm -hmm. for 100% of the population. As nice as it is, no male will ever know what the 12-year-old Mandeep went through mm -hmm. when I used to go and do cycling competitions or when I used to do sports at school, you know? Only I understand what I went through. Yeah. So that's why it's really important to make sure we've got that female representation there, mm -hmm. making all those decisions and creating an environment which welcomes more females. Absolutely, and uh, you know, having said that, Benji, um, you know about the disabled children or you know girls, <laughs> you know, um, taking them to Gurdwara. We always feel that our girls shouldn't go out, you know, wear s certain clothes and play in the field uh, because the, you know everybody will be watching them. Or um, our kid is in a wheelchair, you shouldn't go out and play. What if you you're not able to put that ball straight in the basket? That'll be such an embarrassment. So you know, both um, uh, you know, disabled children and the girls, they have always been told to not go out and do this because that will embarrass us. So it's really great that you're talking about it. So openly for everybody watching this um je toade kar ch tiya hai gya ne je toade kar ch bhi koi toada nyana ya jada bil che de andar hai gaya that is o toada khazana ya he is he or she is your treasure and his treasure nu tusi baar le aa sakde ha fir dekhyo kidda o chamkda ya toade naal mandeep bhain ji naal navjot pa ji naal isi tarah ke naal assi gala karange 5 minute di assi break lende ha kithe na jayo the seagames.com nu 5 minute de vich ja ke zarur check out karyo hune to na a dynamic sporting initiative to bring more ethnic minorities onto playing fields. Regardless of ability, we strive for excellence. And draw strength from our differences. Let's be recognised in sports. Let's empower one another. And unlock and untapped potential. Let's show the world what we're made of. Together, let's create a legacy of global opportunity. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the Sea Games. ਬੀਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਮਨਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਨਵਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਆਫ ਦ ਸੀ ਗੇਮਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਇਨ 2023 ਬਟ ਵੈਬਸਾਈਟ ਲਾਈਵ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕੀ ਹੈ thecgames.com ਐਂਡ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਪੇਜਸ ਇਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਵ ਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਹੋਰ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਪੜ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਰਜਿਸਟਰ ਆਪਣਾ ਨਾਮ ਕਰਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਜਦੋਂ ਪੈਣ ਜੀ ਥੋੜੇ ਦੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਦੱਸ ਰਹੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਦੈਟ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਛੇਤੀ ਰਜਿਸਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਣਗੇ ਪੈਣ ਜੀ ਉਨੀ ਛੇਤੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯੂ نو ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਦਾ ਨੇਮਸ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਾਰਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਟਾਲਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਮੋਰ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ نو ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਰਿਸੀਵਿੰਗ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ as and when the time passes so that's exciting uh, but um, sardinal hun mandeep and navjot de naal naal ek hor special guest jude ne jud gaye ne swagat karde ha karanjit kaur da jede jude ne phone line te sardinal karanjit bhai biji ka khalsa bhai biji ki fateh ji ਜੀਨ <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great to be on and to be able to support and be one of the faces of such a important cause as the Seat Games. Um I'm lucky to I am the 
global and UK ambassador, as well as being the powerlifting coach. So a fantastic opportunity and a real chance to give Seva back to the community. That's amazing, Kanjeet. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about it. You were 19 when you went to Commonwealth Games. And, uh, you know, now uh, Mandy Penji is coming up with uh, such an opportunity for everybody, all the youngsters around in UK. How do you feel about this? In what ways do you think is this is going to bring about a change that more number of people are going to get an opportunity to get recognized, to get their talent recognized? I think the Seat Games is a fantastic initiative, particularly because um, local role models in there did the sick kuri dek fact they did the hagi a powerlifting kadi. They can see a role model and also if they have something to strive for, they can see they have something to aim for. So at the uh, weekend, at 19, I was at the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. But I'm 25 now. Most recently, I'm the reigning Commonwealth champion. I was also the first British Amazing. League female to represent um, Great Britain at the World and European Championships. That's amazing. As well as, you know, academics-wise, I'm also a chartered accountant. So I think it's important for, like, a role model for kids to show that, you know, if you work hard in sport, you can achieve your dreams. And, you know, I started as, like, a schoolgirl with a dream, and you can really achieve new heights if you put your mindset to it. Absolutely. The guidance via Seat Games, my ability to contribute my knowledge and help assist and coach the next generation is is amazing to me to, to give them the opportunity to help um, create this legacy. Absolutely, Kanji. And you had role models in your house, you know, mom and dad both uh, <laughs> in sports. And you were talking about that, uh, you know, young girls will get more role models. But, uh, uh, you know, I'd like you to talk about your own, uh, you know, struggles if you had any, uh, so that, you know, the girls watching this show, they can feel that, you know, she, if she can do it, despite all those uh, things affecting her training, you know, um, you know, having doubts in your own mind then even they can do it yeah definitely i think you know the seat games is such a great platform for an opportunity for you know girls in households especially who may not have the opportunity or the supportive environment yeah. i mean they're lucky sigi my family my dad he's my coach he's a former bodybuilder and powerlifter jiddan to see a dungal dekhi honi a film stories jidda saadi hai ya um, I'm lucky that, you know, I did sport. Um, my brothers, older brothers, they were 400 meter hurdlers at national level, and they were my inspirational heroes. And also, you know, my dad encouraged my mom into sport as well. She was works champion in athletics in many fields. So I think it's only just a role model from Dini, but the fact that, you know, we have these role models, uh, me being one of them, but as Mandy mentioned, we have several female ambassadors doing well in different areas of sport. And it's just, you know, if a girl out there can see that it's possible and, you know, we have the foundations to be able to help through coaching and yeah. going, you know, both nationally and internationally with this initiative, then I think we'll really go far to hopefully create, you know, the next champions. Absolutely. So, Karanjeet, the SEA Games 2023, what have you planned then, uh, you know, apart from the roles that you've been assigned? How are you uh, planning to uh, contribute? Are you going to have a look personally at the girls enrolled for the powerlifting? <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, I do have my eye on, like, hopefully if there is any girl out there that would like to be, you know, the next person. You know, I appreciate I was the first um seek to be performing at such a level however i don't want to be the last i want there to be many more girls especially taking up strength sports often they're like a male dominated sport so it's my dream that hopefully girls out there can be inspired they are willing to work hard and i'm willing to help them because i want to see you know seek female world champions i it's my dream but i want it to be other girls dream that we can all we can do this if you put your mind to it as Sikhs, you know, we're known as the warrior race, but often Kulianu chants made in there. And now is the time, and especially with um, Mandeep Benji, you know, being a female uh, president, I think it's amazing as well to be able to showcase, you know, female empowerment. And um, I'm, I'm all here for it. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, Karen Jeet. And Mandeep, would you like to say a word to Karen now? Um, just Thank you, you know, to Karanjit for like all her contributions so far to mm. the Seat Games. 
I think that's what's been like really amazing. I think this yeah. last year and a half, I feel like we've kind of had so many conversations of like almost being in tears hmm. of the amount of support that we've got from the community. So it's so nice to see that there's people out there that from our community that have done well, but actually want to like pave the way for the next generation as well. So they're not just about doing it themselves, but want to give back to the community, want to see other people in their community do well. They want also want Fateh for their mm. for their panth as well, like mm. in every way possible. So literally, you know, we I think we've we just thank you. Absolutely, <laughs> that's really so brilliant. Thank you very much, Karanji, to join us on C Channel, and I can't wait to see you again in the C Games and. Uh, Thank you very much, really. Hope to Thank meet you, you soon. Much. Yeah, take care. Take Thank care, you. Karanjit. Speak to you then. So, ASG Karanjit Kaur, Sarin Upatai Hega, the first ever British Sikh female Janane Great Britain no represent Kita in numerous international events, they which power lifting the champion Hegene. And uh, Paji, as Karanjit was saying, you know, it's about collaboration, it's about getting everybody together and going forward and helping each other to, you know, reach our. Um, at most potential so uh, you know I'm sure you had support from other people as well to reach the potential uh, that you wanted to so yeah, an aspect of your motto equality excellence and collaboration would you like to talk more about that would you like to describe it more to the Absolutely. audience? Absolutely in terms of excellence so uh, one of the first person we spoke to was Nabrat Singh um, he's a football scientist working for Arsenal Football Club uh, which is another big thing for a, for a Sikh yep. um, to, to work in a premiership football club. Mm. Um, so what Navraj did was he headhunted a team of uh, nutrition, strength and conditioning, uh, powerlifting and sprint coaches, uh, which we call the A-team. So with the A-team, they're working on an app, uh, which will be live uh, for all our athletes that have signed up uh, from January 2022. Yeah. Uh, which will give uh, an 18-month program for all the kids and everyone who signed up uh, to follow that program for 18 months leading up to our games in August 2023. Um, to basically, uh, th that will involve all the fitness uh, regimes and nutrition and uh, what they need to do to, uh, to become a professional sportsman or sportswoman. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is what we're trying to, uh, trying to achieve. Um, and then apart from that, end, end of the first SEA Games in 2023, um, with the help of ECB Football Association and all our coaches, we'll be picking a male and female from each and every sport who we think uh, have done really well in those games. And we'll be helping them with their journey over the next two years. Um, we'll be supporting them in terms of nutrition, in terms of coaching, travel, supplements, whatever they need to become pro. Um, so this is another another model we are working on. Mm. Yeah. Would you like to say something about that? Yeah, it's just, you know, with the SEAT Games happening, we really want to be able to actually showcase the excellence. So there's a lot of these organizations, actually, they are really wanting to encourage more ethnic minorities to get into sport, but how do you find them? Mm. You know, like the SEAT Games, is the opportunity where you can come and you can showcase the best of the best from the Sikh community yeah. actually going out there and doing these amazing things. So we've actually already had, you know, like kind of scouts and agents and all these other people that have been reaching out to us. This is before we've even gone live, by the way. Mm. Um, you know, we've managed to, I think with the help of, you know, Dal from the FA, we've managed to form a partnership with the Football Association, yeah. um, you know, a partnership with the England Wales Cricket Board. And all these things are because they can see that the SEAT Games is actually the way to get the, that community, to, to, for them to be able to find the best yeah. of the best mm -hmm. from the SEAT community. So I think it's more about, you know, like it's not, the SEAT Games is not just a sporting tournament, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just going to be something you come to, you know, every two years and then after that you forget about it, yeah. but actually the journey, it's a roadmap into success. A lot of our community may not have the ability or the affordability to be able to get this information, but you've got the best of the best from our community which are coming together to give back, to give you. So for example, if you decided, Benji, you wanted to sign up to the 100 meter uh, sprint and you wanted to join the women's uh, cricket team, 
for example, you would actually know what your journey looks like mm. from once you've signed up, once that training app is there, up until the day of the SEAT Games. Yeah. You know, there are techniques, you know, we w I think we spent so long doing the filming for, these, uh, for this app. Um, I think we've got to, I think, about 800 videos now already. Um, you know, so before we've even gone live, we've been doing all this filming. So all those skills and things that you think you would not even think about when it comes to running and sprinting, know, you've got right? so many things out there yeah. which are going to come through the seat games, which are going to give you the exact journey that you need to follow hmm. to actually take you into the seat games it, as well. It, just to know that, uh, how amazing it would be to know who's the fastest female seat in yeah. the UK, yeah. yeah, and this is what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, this is an important point that you have mentioned, Paji. That uh, you know, people like me who like to participate and uh, you know just try our hands out. As you were mentioning in the break, uh, it's not just for the children. Even the parents are invited. Uh, the families are invited to come uh, be a part of this event. Uh, but oftentimes, you know. People like me would wonder, I don't know how it's going to look like, you know. Uh, there'll be other participants who'll be more expert, uh, who'll know more about this sport than me. Uh, you know, I'm going to look like an amateur uh, in front of them. So how would you encourage people to please come out, you know, the new moms yeah. or, you know, pe middle-aged people, people who are so busy with their jobs. Yeah. How would you like to encourage them to come forward then? Look all of her, all of you guys can make a difference you know so it's showing if you if you're doing it because you want to pick up skills which are going to so if you look at the journeys of people like for Jossing yeah. you know he's one of our patrons but what is his journey been like he started running at what age and then started doing marathons yeah. so there's no age limit when it comes to sport so yeah. although we talk about you know the youngsters and things like that that's definitely important because that is the people that we see going into mainstream sport and we create and we show them hmm. you know a vision of what they can become yeah. but equally what about the social mobility aspect of it yeah. what about actually you know look at the impact that the Sikh community and the South Asian community have had as a result of COVID mm. how does sport actually help you you know what is that kind of lifestyle that you're adopting the lifestyle that you're adopting your children will look at you mm. and they will adopt that you know you're literally fixing your whole generation even if you're doing you know something you, you know you're saying let me just try it out you know let me just see how far I can get with it obviously there's a whole selection and stuff when it comes to your regional leads and things like that you know those things will happen yeah. but the point is you're still training towards something yeah. you're still every single week you're getting up and you're going somewhere to train and what your what's the message that mm. you send to your next generation Absolutely. and we definitely talk about Tia and we say but what about your noha hmm. you know think about actually every single time you get your noha to go and do something what have you done your poti has seen that and she knows that she can become a champion so if you're thinking about you want your whole your next generations to have a healthy lifestyle for them to live a long life you know hmm. for them to live 100 years or you know hmm. get them into sport hmm. you know you encouraging and you yourself going out there and being a part of this you are contributing towards their long life and their Absolutely. longevity and their um, you know healthy lifestyle and their success you know because that's what it's about it's their success sport you look at I think we've done so much research about private schools and things as well but all the private schools what's the first thing that they put on their website sport hmm. they show that showcase their sports facilities that's that's literally one of the first things you hit see when you go onto their websites you know, so well why is it as our, our community and, and Karen Jit, perfect example, you know, she's works as um, a chartered accountant for the big four, hmm. but yet she's a powerlifting champion. How is it that sport has actually helped her with her academia? You know, think about it that way. You know, there are so many benefits you get from sport, hmm. which you can apply to other aspects of your life as well. Hmm. So everybody should feel like they can be a part of the seat games it's not just in terms of you know you sign up as an athlete but even as you know you going there to the seat games and you coming to the seat games and you screaming and shouting for the girl from your region that has just gone and scored a goal oh my you God. are contributing we can't wait to you are contributing. watch the site um, yeah. very well said Penji um, you know we're towards the end of the show I'd like to know you how can I, as a viewer, as audience, how can I contribute um, to the SEA Games if I'm not, you know, actually actively participating? What can I do, Penji? And I'm sure everybody watching the show also has this thing on their minds. 
you can tell everybody that you know about the Seat Games. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get make sure you get anyone you know, anyone you speak to from the Seat community, you know, you should be talking to them about the Seat Games. You should be telling them to see where can you contribute. You can become, very much like Navjot said, you can become a volunteer. Yeah. You can um, help us with donations. You can become a coach. You can become an official. There are so many avenues, you know, when it comes to sport, the representation is important. Mm. Just by being on the playing field, that isn't going to fix the issue. Absolutely. If you want playing fields which are reflective of the multicultural society we live in, yeah. we need people working on the top level. So if the Seat Games is your avenue mm. to work with us, volunteer with us, to get you involved and to work within sport, the sporting industry, like you know people like Dal have, and you know from he, he's a head of diversity and inclusion at the FA. Mm. You know we need our community to go into those roles as well. So. Seat Games is an avenue, come and speak to us, see how we can support you on your journey, see how you can support the Seat Games and the next generation, and of course, you know, sponsorships, uh, donations, anything that anyone feels that they can contribute, hmm. every single one of us has an opportunity to make a difference. It can be making a loud noise for and cheering someone on, it can be turning up, it can be financially supporting, or it can be taking part. Mm. But every single one of us have a part to play in the success of our next generation. The key is to go on the Sea Games website right now, uh, Sasa Nijay, and make a donation contribution towards the Sea Games because it is a family event. Let's you know, let's see it as uh, something that we, as a family, uh, you know, the Sea Community of UK, are going to be part of together. Um, Benji and Navjot Paji, how do you see the future of the SEA Games? What kind of legacy you see the SEA Games you know, taking forward 10 years from now? I know that we're preparing for something as big as an international level, but you know, keeping, keeping that aspect aside, how do you see it? What event do you see it becoming in the next coming few years? I think what me and Mandeep uh, spoke about was, and if, uh, let's say nine years down the line, we actually want to uh, see another Milka Singh representing and probably being the fastest runner in the world. Hmm. Um, and probably seeing another Karanji lifting, um, you know, weights um, as much as men do. Hmm. So we really want our Sikhs to do really well in sports. Um, and the whole world to see that what we've made a change. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and actually to have bring our community together. Whenever we ever had anything in the UK yeah. or worldwide, which has actually brought the Sikhs together around the world yeah. in one place where they can meet each other, get to know each other's cultures, get to see what each country, how they live as Sikhs in each country, what, what the kind of differences are, where the similarities are. Yeah. You know, we want the community to get together. So collaboration, collaboration regionally, where each Gurukar, that they might be a road away from each other, they're cheering for one another's success, mm. you know, because they know that them working together is for the greater cause. Mm -hmm. So actually seeing our playing fields reflective of the multicultural society we live in, mm -hmm. you know, seeing board levels when it comes to sports, which are reflective, again, of the multicultural society we live in, seeing our community get together regionally, nationally, and then globally. Mm -hmm. And Sea Channel will always support Thank you, you in bringing the millions of Sikhs together as our motto goes. I'd like you both to directly appeal to uh, the viewers watching the show. Um, you know, as your last words, what would you like to tell them? Um, you know, uh, people are excited, they can't wait for 2023. Um, you've mentioned that registration have opened. I, I have seen people sharing the Sea Games post on uh, social media, Instagram and Twitter. So, uh, you know, I can see there is excitement and uh, we can't wait to be a part of this. How would you like to address the audience now? First, you, Penju. Firstly, a huge, huge thank you. Um, we the the overwhelming happiness that you know we get from all the positive comments and feedback that you guys all give us you know i think that makes it worth it for us hmm. you know all of us are working on a completely not-for-profit basis you know this organization we're all doing it as seva hmm. because we want to be able to contribute we want to create a legacy for the month yeah 
so thank you all for your support. If you have any feedback or you have any comments or anything to make, we are imperfect, you know, we've got lo a long journey to go, so your feedback is important to us. If there's a sport within the SEAT Games which is not included, come and tell us. You know, the more of you that come back with that information, the more appropriate we can make the SEAT Games for you. You know, this is something that's never been done before, so your feedback is crucial to us. Keep on supporting, keep on seeing ways in which you can get involved and keep on communicating with us and sharing and keep the excitement going and let's do this, let's together create a legacy of global opportunity. Thank you, Navjot Baji. Like Mandeep said, thank you so much for all the love and support that we have received in the last month. Um, come on this journey with us and support us as much as you can um, and make the SEAT Games um, a success. That's great, bang on. The SeaGames.com. Hune jaake check out karo and uh, registration as a family. Apne sare mum, dad, children sare the registration to see karo. It's not just about winning a medal. It's about getting together, um, you know, having fun, getting to know each other, and let's go out there. Let's play let's participate sport is such a big part of the Sikh heritage sadi punjabiyat de vich khedda hai yani aao asi revive kariye apne bachcho nu inspire kariye aap khediye taaki apne bachche nu inspire ho sake thank you karde ha mandeep penji the president of the Sikh games and navjot singh the vice president jehde aaj sade naal jude sige and karanjeet kaur jehde bahut hi aham hissa nibha rahe ne the Sikh games de vich hor vi kai personalities ne involved to see how participate karo and involve ho the sea games uk 2023 jede ke pehli baar aaj ek media channel te gal baat karan aaye si ge sea channel so honored ke si is initiative de de vich participate kar rahe hai and forever sada support jeda hai edda hi the sea games de naal rehna hai ga so let us get ready for 2023 register tonight the sea games.com te ja ke check out karna bilkul na bhuleyo ethe tonu dono nu fateh bulane ha ji ha ji bhai ji ka khalsa bhai ji ki fateh fateh ji